Hi folks, it's Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements, playing with some of the title tools, some of the titling tools. Here on the timeline, we've got kind of a basic title. It's got two parts to it. One part that says summer vacation and it says family time. It's all in one title. So let's go in and do some editing to it. I'm just going to double click on the title here on the timeline. And that will open up the title adjustments area. Now we have an issue here. I've got a white title on a white background, making it very difficult to read. And a lot of times people wonder, how do you add a stroke around that? How can you add a black outline around that to make it much more readable? If you were to simply select the text and open up the color panel here, you notice you don't have the option to do anything with stroke. So how do you add a stroke to text as I did to the other block of text? Well, the trick is to first go over here to the style tab and select a style that has a stroke around it, say the birch white 80. That's going to change everything about the text. But you notice that now it has a stroke around it because I selected a stroked style. Now when I go back over here to text and I can set it to a font that I want to use. When I select the option to colorize it or color it, I now can color not only the fill, make that any color I want, but I can also select stroke and color the stroke or the outline and even set a weight for that stroke and make it a little bit thicker there too. So that's a little trick. But that said, what we really want to talk about here in this particular tutorial is animation. Now I have two separate text boxes here. You notice I'm still in the same title and I can apply a separate text animation to each block. I'm going to just apply it to the block that says summer vacation here. And I can either select all the text or just have my cursor inside the text block to select it. And then I go over here to the animation tab on the adjustments panel and I can select an animation. Some of these animations are pretty cool. You can have words come in and dance around or you can have individual letters come in or move or change sizes. Let's just try one here called focus in. I'm just going to select it. You notice there are ins and outs and in is how the text is introduced in the title. The out is how it goes away. Unfortunately, you can't apply more than one animation to a text block at once. So you can't apply a cool in and a cool out. You can only choose one or another, but let's choose focus in and click apply. Notice it's only going to apply to the text block that I selected. We'll go back out here to the timeline by clicking on the timeline. Move the playhead out a little bit and let's play the movie and you'll see that one block of text come in with the animation. So. You can see how it kind of focused in, right? It kind of zoomed in. Now, suppose I didn't like that animation. And by the way, you notice that the animation was not applied to the second block of text. It only applies here to the block of text we had selected. Anyway, let's open up the title adjustments area again by double clicking on the title. Now, if I want to apply a different animation to this particular block of text, the first thing I have to do is remove the old animation. And I do that by selecting the text, either by selecting all of the letters or just having my cursor in there and coming down here to the bottom of the adjustments panel and clicking remove. Now that text animation is gone. I can select another one, say shuffle in by character and apply it. By the way, very, very important. Text animations only work with a single line of text. If I had broken this into two lines, the animation just wouldn't apply. It only works when you've got a single line of text. Just another big hint there from your friends at Movie Picks. But that said, go back out to my timeline by clicking on the timeline itself, move the playhead back, and now we'll see the new animation. One letter at a time coming in. So text animations are actually very cool. You can't really customize the animation. You can't change it other than what comes straight out of the box here. But Adobe has given us a very nice library of text animations that are available under the animation tab here on the adjustment panel. 
check them out. They're a lot of fun. Now, you want to know more about these kind of tools? Check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. You want to know everything about Premiere Elements, every single thing. Pick up a copy of the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.